Hi, this is Michael Lectures on momentum versus inertia. Uh, we're going to differentiate between the two topics, mainly because oftentimes people uh, use the word momentum when they mean inertia, uh, although they tend not to say inertia for the word momentum. Your products are three or more bullet points worth of notes, a one to two sentence summary, and a follow-up questions on Google Forms, as always. Okay, so momentum. It's a vector, which means it has both a magnitude, or number in this case, and a direction, whereas inertia is just a scalar, so it is just a magnitude or a number. Uh, it's independent of direction. Another difference, momentum is based on mass uh, and velocity, whereas inertia is just based on mass. That means it only depends on mass, and that's it, um, for the most part. There is one exception to that, but we won't talk about that in this class. Last but not least, momentum increases um, or decreases by changing velocity, whereas inertia um, only really changes if mass changes. So even if you're going faster or slower, your inertia doesn't change because your mass is staying constant for the most part. There's one exception if you get into higher level physics, but that's not applicable here. Inertia. Um, another way to differentiate between them is to just state what each one is. So that's another way to differentiate on tests or assignments and things. And in this case, uh, inertia is how much something resists changes in motion, whereas momentum really measures how much motion it has, um, not a resistance to changes in it, really just what amount of motion does it have. And so that's another difference between the two. So let's look at one last example to help differentiate between them. We've got an apple here that's sitting still and then it begins to fall. In this case, we can look at what happens to its momentum and what happens to its inertia as it goes from sitting still hanging on a branch to falling and beginning to move. So in this case, as it begins to go faster and faster, its momentum increases and it's actually going to increase with velocity while its inertia stays the same because its mass is the same if we're just looking at this apple and the equivalent of it over here, assuming it's an identical or the same apple in that case. That's it for this one. Three or more bullet points worth of notes, one to two sentence summary, and do your follow-up questions on Google Forms.